Clarence is a very interesting show created by Skylar Page. It has a colorful cast of characters who all get into wacky shenanigans every episode. When I say wacky and outlandish, I don't exactly mean the kind of regular show wacky and outlandish. I mean, I mean everyday things that kids would do in a small town. Clarence is accompanied by his two best friends, also both main characters, Jeff and Sumo. If anything, they are just as important or sometimes more important than Clarence. Clarence works as the glue in the trio as opposed to Sumo and Jeff's comic relief yin yang situation they got going on. Sumo's more laid back and wild while Jeff is OCD and, and neat freaking stuff. Their adventures can range from playing in a ball pit, going to a skate park, or even a pseudo zombie apocalypse. Oh, maybe it is kind of like regular show. Fun fact, Clarence is voiced by the creator of Clarence. Oh wait, never mind. No, 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 forget that. My personal favorite character in the show has to be Jeff. I just align so well with him in many regards. I'm very pragmatic about situations. I tend to want to be the best and I have anxiety as, as people know. <laughs> When watching Clarence, it's kind of hard to tell what time it's in. It could be in the present. It could be a year ago. It could even be two years ago. It could be 20 years ago. The lack of importance in technology in the show even further provides a nostalgia factor. You know when you were young and 16, your new iPhone 10 didn't matter, and you just sat down and watched Power Rangers every Saturday morning when your mom cooked scrambled eggs and you lamented about how fun the weekend would be and how you'd hate coming back to school, but she didn't hate school as much as you do now being a 15 going on 16 year old boy, running a, a shitty channel, living a shitty life wondering when you're gonna die, having anxiety and having every waking moment of your life be scary. And you wake up at 2.49 in the morning on a school night thinking about how the whole day will be eight hours of you wasting your life at a school with a horrible social hierarchy and how you wish you could go back to the days where you watched Power Rangers and had those scrambled eggs. But no, you can never go back. You can only go forward and get older and more depressed until eventually you die alone, and you go off to be in whatever scary afterlife you believe in. Huh, will, will you excuse me for a second? Clarence brings back that nostalgia, that childhood wonder, that childhood innocence. When anything and everything was absolutely interesting and enticing, and you wanted to explore every single crevice of, well, everything. I'm also very fond of the art style of Clarence. I favor thick outlines over thin mostly, but in this one, but in Clarence, it seems to work out well with the rounded shapes and everything looking all bubbly. Every important character pretty much has a distinct style. You can tell who they are based on literally how they look. I mean, for crying out loud, Jeff is a square. He's a square. Give this show an Emmy. I also am very fond of the opening and ending theme for Clarence. Well, I'm really fond of the ending theme for Clarence. That's literally on my playlist. It just gives you that melancholy vibe of, oh man, childhood was great. That's That was me a few years ago. Now I'm jaded. <laughs> Keep in mind this is coming from a 15 year old, I have a long ways to go. Truth be told, I really do enjoy Clarence and I've watched every episode. That's not a joke, I literally watched every episode. While some may skip over Clarence as a meh kind of show, opposed to regular show Adventure Time and all the other big Cartoon Network tycoons, I feel like Clarence has a well deserved spot as one of the good ones on Cartoon Network. Clarence is one of those shows where you can just watch it and genuinely enjoy it for what it is, for what it has to offer. It's a pretty relaxed, laid back show with a bunch of colorful characters in a very exciting environment. I'd recommend anyone to watch it it's a good watch you don't even have to have an iq of 3.3 billion like i do from watching rick and morty to enjoy the subtle humor in clarence it's a fun show for the whole flipping family i hope you enjoyed this quick little video and a little skip before it you might ask what happened there well guess what there's gonna be a thing it's gonna don't worry don't worry about it it's gonna it's gonna even out someday as you can tell i'm trying to uh push push different aspects of things on the channel um more live action bits is what I definitely want to do. It all just basically comes down to how fun is this going to be? What am I going to do? You know, all, all of that fun stuff. I did say new stuff this year and oh, how new would this year be? I honest to God don't know what's next because I have so many things that I'm working on. But trust me, whatever comes next, you're going to like it or you're going to hate it and unsub. Whichever one works for you. You already know the drill and you already know what it is. I would like to thank you for watching this video as always. I'm Verity Joe and send fan heart and all that good stuff to my Twitter at Robert underscore Skittish. Until then, it is me, I'm Verity Joe, and as always. Fuck all niggers, fuck all niggers, fuck all niggers, fuck all niggers, fuck all those niggers, fuck all those niggers, fuck all those niggers, fuck all those niggers, rappers steal my shit. Rap and steal my shit, they wanna rap and steal my shit because they can't get shit. Go and get a job, stop trying to rob, stop trying to fuck my mom, my dick is bigger than yours.